You're going to want to get ready for this one. It's good. The new Solomon Ultra Glide is the long awaited, long anticipated attempt at a more cushioned Solomon trail shoe designed for the masses to aid in tackling long mileages, ultras, and adventures. The shoe is designed to bring a lot of what makes Solomon footwear so special while simultaneously doing what Solomon hasn't attempted yet max cushion. With 32 millimeters of Solomon's soft and bouncy energy surge midsole, the Ultra Glide is a long haul joy to run in right out of the box. The Sensifit upper, Contagrip outsole, and quick lace systems are classic Solomon. Now while the Ultra Glide doesn't get too deep into the max cushioned Hoka territory here, the Ultra Glide does manage to propel the brand beyond its more minimal and technical market that they're renowned for. The Ultra Glides are a super fun shoe that seemingly tick a lot of boxes, but they have some interesting flaws that are certainly worth mentioning. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Let's dive in. Ginger Runner. What is up everybody? Ethan Newberry, the Ginger Runner here for another Ginger Runner review. Today, I'm very excited because the shoe that we're talking about is extremely anticipated. I feel like a lot of people have been looking forward to this one. I personally have been looking forward to the shoe. It's from Solomon. We're talking about the Ultra Glide. Uh, they're maxed, cushioned, super soft and, and comfortable trail running shoe. We're gonna find out if it is all that and a bag of Doritos, not sponsored by Doritos. Now, before we get into the review, I have to point out that this shoe was provided for review by Running Warehouse. I'm under no obligation to say anything positive or negative about the Ultra Glide. I'm also not receiving any financial compensation for this review. No one has to approve this review. All opinions are my own. You're seeing it for the first time. I hope you enjoy that little perk. Let's. Go. As with all of my reviews, I like to talk about the things I like and dislike, starting as always with things that I like about the Solomon Ultra Glide. Energy Surge Midsole. So this is where Solomon starts getting into that softer, more cushioned and bouncy territory. We've got 32 millimeter, 26 millimeter, six millimeter drop. That's a lot of cushioning underfoot for a Solomon. Uh, it is also soft and bouncy. It's a comfortable midsole. So I'm actually pleased to report that Solomon advertises this shoe as being a max cushion shoe, and it does have a lot of cushioning. So they do meet the expectation. Uh, I'm really happy with the midsole, especially right out of the box, like before you start breaking the shoe in, it is apparent just how cushioned and soft this shoe is. Full disclosure, I don't think it's quite in the realm of a Hoka One One trail shoe as far as max cushion and really soft cushioning underfoot. It does have a lot for a Solomon, and it is comfortable, so I'm really into the energy surge. I like its implementation in the Ultra Glide. Durability, specifically in the upper of this shoe, you have a lot of this 3D mesh, the sense of fit upper, profile film in all sorts of different places on this shoe. What you end up getting is a shoe that's extremely durable from the waist up. Really, it does what Solomon's do quite well just across the board, and that's provide you with a good fit across the top, a good protective fit across the top, and provides you with plenty of durability here through the upper materials. Accommodating. Now, I know a lot of you are gonna be excited to hear this, especially from a Solomon shoe. So many of the Solomon shoes, especially in the S-Lab territory, are very precision fit. They're very narrow. Uh, they're designed to fit around the foot as tightly and precisely as possible, so you can really uh, navigate your way nimbly through technical terrain and through mountainous ridge lines and, and everything like that. The Ultra Glide is a more accommodating upper, so you'll get some width here through the midfoot. It's more voluminous. Uh, it will accommodate larger foot sizes. There is a bit of a detriment to that, which I'll get to in some of my dislikes, but I, I have to say that I do enjoy a Solomon shoe that I can put on my foot and not feel like it's just constraining it too much. That's especially advantageous for longer distances, ultra marathons, where you don't want a shoe that's gonna constrict your foot. You want your foot to be able to swell as the miles tag on, and you want a little bit of movement in there. So right Right here we have from Solomon an accommodating shoe. It's very much like the Sense Ride in that respect, and that to me is a good thing. That being said, it's not all afternoon naps and day drinking with Seth Myers. There are a couple of things that I dislike about the Solomon Ultra Glide. Let's get to those now. Midsole flattening. So this is a problem that I've had with other manufacturers and other shoes. I've mentioned it on this channel a number of times. Uh, some midsoles want to flatten out prematurely. So yes, they feel great right out of the box and you know, 30, 40, 50 miles. And you're like, wow, they're really bouncy and soft. Energy surge is that, it feels great. But I have to say now with about 80 to 90 miles in the shoe, right up here through the toe box, underneath the midfoot where I tend to put most of my weight and most of my energy through my foot strike, uh, it's really flattened out a lot. So a lot of that stack has just minimally flattened. It's something that I experience a lot in ultra shoes. And I mentioned that in those reviews. So we're getting it here. It sucks because I love them out of the box. 
Uh, and as soon as you start to break them in and get some of the thicker fabrics to work better through the foot strike, uh, the midsole just starts to break down a little bit. That's also why I wouldn't classify this as a comparison to a Hoka shoe whose midsoles tend to last a little bit longer and still have some of the resiliency when it comes to max cushion. Uh, Solomon is trying something new. I gotta commend them for that because I, I really wanted that from Solomon. Unfortunately, the midsole is flattening, which is making them feel just like a lot of other Solomon shoes, like the Sense Ride, for example. Profile overload. So the upper, which I did mention, is quite durable, quite protective. Uh, suffers from just too many overlays. This profile film that they have across the toe box, around the lateral and medial side of the shoe, and throughout the upper, around the heel, it's very hot, not very breathable, a little restrictive in some places, primarily here on the outside lateral side of the toe box where the toes begin to sort of chafe up here along the profile film layer. Uh, it, it just feels like a lot. Plus you got a big thick tongue that doesn't want to breathe or let air out of the shoe. So it's a very built up upper and that has its advantages. But one of the disadvantages is that it's just, it's it's overbuilt, especially when you have a shoe like the Sense Ride, which is one of my favorite Solomon shoes to date. The Sense Ride 4, which I reviewed recently, has an upper that is much better than this one. I wish they'd take the upper from the Sense Ride and stick it on this midsole, but add a little bit more resilient foam. I, I don't know. Uh, uh, the, these two problems that I have, these two dislikes, are pretty considerable. Um, I'm excited to see that the shoe is happening and that they're beginning to embrace more cushioning underfoot. Solomon, it, we've been asking for it for a long time. Uh, it's great to see it. It does feel good, but that is it for dislikes. Let's get into the breakdown where we distill everything down to five main criteria, build quality, comfort, fit, price, and looks. Starting with build quality, uh, as I mentioned, I think the shoe is really well built. I think the materials that they're using can be overdone here. The profile film, there's a lot of it. So you're gonna get a lot of that across the top of the foot and around the lateral and medial sides. I think Energy Surge is super fun and comfortable right out of the box. I do think it breaks down prematurely, which is unfortunate, especially in a maxed cushion shoe. Comfort, it has it. It is extremely comfortable right out of the box. Uh, as you start to tag more miles onto the shoe, really get more use out of it. I think the comfort is going to gradually go down. The upper materials that, uh, that are quite stiff when you pull them out of the box, they do break in while simultaneously the midsole breaks down. So the shoe is comfortable, but can get more uncomfortable over time. I mean, basically the same thing could be said about everything. Fit, I think this is a very typical Solomon fit while more accommodating. It's not gonna be that super precision fit that you're used to in, in some of the higher end Solomon shoes. I think a wide array of people will like the fit of this shoe. If you like the quick lacing system, which I do, I do think it tends to work across the Solomon line, you are gonna like it here. And those who are looking for a bit more volume, through the midfoot and forefoot, you will get some of that in this shoe. Very similar to the Sense Ride. Price at $140, it's not in that overwhelmingly expensive shoe category, but it is also not in the more affordable shoe category like the Sense Ride. Uh, I can see why they would price it at $140. It's got more materials. It's, it's got a lot of design behind it. Uh, so I guess that price point is, you know, not bad to be expected for a shoe that is more built up from Solomon. And finally, looks, I always like what Solomon is doing. It's very simple. You should just pick one color, stick with it, red, white, black, or blue. In this case, it's blue with a little bit of white and red on there. Uh, it's subtle, it's sharp, it's modern. Solomon always just does a good job. Bringing us to our conclusion. I have to say that the Ultra Glide is a welcome addition to the Solomon Trail Running line. This shoe highlights just how lacking the Solomon line was for more cushioned, more accommodating, uh, softer riding shoes. When compared to the more affordable, very popular, though slightly heavier Sense Ride, Sense Ride 4 specifically, the Ultra Glide, it feels balanced, though bloated. Uh, I find myself still wanting to grab the Sense Ride over the Ultra Glide, depending on the day, the mileage, the distance. Uh, I wish the midsole of this lasted longer. I wish that the upper was more like the Sense Ride. I kind of wish that they could just have an offspring and name it the Ultra Ride. Ultra Ride Glide. Ultra Gride. The Glide Ride. I'll just leave the naming up to Solomon. They got this. Bringing us to our final criteria. Is the Solomon Ultra Glide a buy, try, or a why? At this point, you probably already guessed. It is a try. Uh, it is a try because I think they're doing a lot of things here that are very innovative and forward thinking. I'm glad Solomon is finally joining us on the dark side with more Max Cushion shoes. I'm excited to see what's next. That's why I put this in the try category because I think it is worth some time on your feet, especially if you are a Solomon fan or run in shoes like the Sense Ride. 
this might be a better shoe for those longer distances where foot fatigue has become an issue. That is it, my friends, for my review of the Ultra Glide. I'm curious, and we'll turn the tables over to you. Have you run in the Ultra Glide? Or are you looking forward to it? Is it a shoe that interests you at all? If you want more information about the shoe, I don't know why I started talking like that. Or if you want to get a pair of the shoes or pre-order the shoes now for yourself, there are links in the description that will take you over to Running Warehouse. You can pre-order them. You can get them there. Uh, they are affiliate links. They do help the channel out. They cost you nothing. And if you are a GR Crew member, there might be some discounts involved. So definitely consider doing that. That is it. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Uh, of course, social media links. And please consider joining the GR Crew. It's how you can support this channel while also simultaneously joining an incredible global community of runners, uh, people who inspire us every single day. We do daily live streams. We have tons of perks on the back end. That is my pitch. And that is it for today's video. Hope you liked it. Now get out there, train hard, race harder, and part of the hardest. I know I am. We'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.